that uh, I'd like to take is a little bit different than, um, uh, than, our, than our four gentlemen up here. Um, Sunflower Solutions um, is here because um, we're taking much more of a broad um, look at the marketplace on an ongoing basis, whereas what um, our four speakers have pretty much spoken today about is the actual uh, um, immediate project implementation and execution. So um, the, the interesting thing is, is that um, it's, it's kind of like uh, uh, my wife and I, when it comes time for dinner, she goes to the store, she buys all the food, she cleans all the vegetables, she cooks everything, and I come home and I sprinkle a little bit of chili powder on everything, and everybody thinks I'm the great cook. And the reality is here is that um, what um, some of the efficiencies that I want to talk about um, really are the curry powder. At the end of the day, if you don't have these gentlemen who have created the solar PV infrastructure, then there's no platform to create any efficiency. So um, I, I want to make sure that um, I'm crystal clear that, um, that we come here um, with, with great humility to be on the same dais as these folks. We've been in the India market um, for a, a solid three months. Uh, and I've covered about um, 11 cities in about a month and a half, um, meeting with 25 to 30 different companies about, um, uh, about uh, tracking as an efficiency uh, vehicle for their uh, upcoming uh, microgrid and uh, uh, megawatt projects. Um, you're blessed here in India in that you have something called the National Solar Mission. Now, whether or not the National Solar Mission is executed by the government as well as it's articulated on paper is a different story. But I can tell you in the States, um, we have just a mishmash of, uh, of conflicting and, uh, and nonsensical um, uh, government policies when it comes to renewables. So at least you have a roadmap. It might have a lot of potholes in it and a few detours, uh, and you might have to pay a few tolls along the way, um, but you have the map. And we're very encouraged um, uh, to, to dovetail with the, with the government's mission. So the good news is, from an efficiency standpoint, is the government's throwing money at solar, um, whether it be grid-connected feed-in tariffs or um, uh, recently there's a new tax credit for our friends in the uh, telecom business uh, if they, if they uh, move from diesel to solar. And, um, and off-grid um, uh, has, has been in place for a few years. The bad news is, uh, and as a couple of our speakers referenced, um, there's only so much money to go around, okay? And again, I'm new here, and I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get our hands in that pot, but I know that um, there's a lot of other hands that we have to compete with. And ultimately, I think the success of um, some of the efficiencies that I'm about to uh, talk about will not come from uh, the initiatives from some of the um, smaller companies like us, but rather our ability uh, to convince uh, people like uh, like Mr. Ramesh and Mr. Gautam and Mr. Hari um, um, that we complement what they're trying to do. Market pressure. Um, I picked the perfect time to come to India. I've been here three and a half weeks and I am proud to tell you that I have hit every single diesel strike in every city that I've been in here. Trivandrum, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai. So maybe I'm just bad luck and I should get the heck out of here and go back to the States. Um, the good news for the PV market, and there is really a silver lining here, is that um, as much as um, demand for um, solar PV um, exists, it's, it's, it, it's situations like the government deregulating diesel um, that all of a sudden in three days has, has, has created uh, an additional 25 to 30 percent of uh, close to grid parity. Who knew?